Was that cool or what? Link in the description, pick up yours today. Model 3, Model Y, they work. They're not that expensive and make your car stand out. Use my code and save some money too. Now this job is a dirty job, but I'll show you how to do it. Stay tuned and uh, follow along. Thank you Handshow for sending these out. Yes, on full transparency, they sent this out to me for free, but they do not pay me for the installation. It is all mine. Uh, I'm kind of learning for you guys and helping the product get better. So technically, they're not free, but you get the benefits. Use my link down below and save some money, order these, and use my video to install yours, and it's a win-win. It actually adds more functionality to the turn signal. You've already seen how this goes, but now this is gonna go there. The great thing about this modification is you don't need a whole lot of things. You need a wire fish, and I believe your kit will come with one. Mine's one of the first ones, so mine doesn't have it, but that's fine. I just use a uh, 12 gauge wire that you would use in your house for electricity. So you probably have that. Electrical tape and some pry tools. And that's what we're gonna use to pry the light off, and I'll show you that in a second. I've got a couple other things, like I've got this little pry tool that's a hook thing that I'm gonna try to use. Um, but what's really great about this is it's a, a direct replacement. So there's two little tabs that you use to that you pry this off with, and then there's a hole in the middle of the factory one that you're going to run this wire through. You're going to attach the wire up to the tail lights, and you're just going to pigtail. Whether you have their custom tail lights, where they make all sorts of animations or not, you're just going to take this. This is a uh, male and a female. You're just going to plug it in. This is just going to be a jumper. So you're going to take the turn signal and the brake line signals and run them to this, which go to this. And we just have to feed this through. There's a vent inside the bumper area. I'm going to show you that. And we're going to pop it through using the wheel well, it's really, really easy. The hardest part is getting this off without damaging anything, and that's what we're gonna do first. But before you go too far into this, before you start popping these off, uh, test these, Plug, just pull the plastic away from here and um, plug in one of the lights like I have here, like I showed you in the very beginning of the video, and test them to make sure they work. That way uh, you'll be all set, and that way you, you don't go too far and then something doesn't work. First things first, we're going to remove this light, and it's really not very difficult. They show in their directions to wrap this in electrical tape so you don't damage anything. I don't think that's really necessary because you're, this is into plastic. The Model 3 goes where there's paint, and that was where you would want to wrap it. So this is just into plastic. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. The reason I love this product is because I backed into a tree off-road, slid in some clay, and uh, damaged my tailgate, but also cracked this light. So this is going to be perfect. A replacement of the light, plus it adds functionality to the car. We're going to start with this pry tool and try to get in there. There's not much room. That's why I like this little hook thing. I'm going to be able to get right in there on the back half and pull. And I can use that to get the pry tool behind it. Oh, and that's easy. That popped right out. Perfect. Got a little dirt back there, but not a big deal. The new light is this one here. It has this wide clip for here. This goes right in here, and this is gonna go right in here. So there's, if you wanted to, to make your life a, lot, a little bit easier, which I'm gonna do, is cut this hole a little bit bigger because it doesn't matter at this point. If you went, if you decided not to go with these later on down the roads, this isn't gonna matter because it's just a pin. It's just a hole, a placement hole. So this can be widened out, and that's gonna make your life a lot easier when you're trying to pass this through here with electrical tape and the wire fish through there. So I'm gonna widen that out and I suggest you do that as well. Doesn't matter what drill bit you use, just make it the hole bigger. The main reason I want this hole bigger is you can see right behind it is this aluminum brace. That is the crash bar and that's really high up in the Model Y. In the Model 3 I think you'll have a little bit more room back there. Later on we're gonna end up taking this wire fish and feeding it right along there and there's not that much room. So. Um, this is, I think this is critical for the Model Y. The Model 3, I think you'll have plenty of room. Next step is to pull this plastic back. 
Not much is holding it, just this. You need to unplug the light. I don't know, can you see that? No, everything's blurry. You need to get back in here and unplug the light. And I have a lot of stuff back here, but you need to unplug this light uh, housing right back here. That's where you're gonna plug this into. And then this goes down and feeds in through that vent. Let me show you that vent. But before you can get back there, this needs to come out farther because that vent is right over here. So you just have to remove the cover. This plastic piece just lifts up. And if you have a, a metal clip that stays in there, it's, it's stubborn, you have to pull that off and put it back on that before you clip that back down. But with this out of the way, it can hinge just a little bit. You can see, if you fold this around, you can see there's that vent right there and there's a wire sticking through there. And that's where I have my trailer hitch wires going. So I'm gonna feed right through there, right next to that. And then once we push the wire through there, I'm gonna pop this off, the inner liner, and find that wire. So I'm gonna connect these wires first, and then I'm gonna take the wire and fish it through. Not the easiest spot. So right in here is where I need to stick my hand. And I've added these mud flaps to this, which I'm actually gonna remove right now. So that's a little bit extra process. Plus my car actually has way bigger tires on there. So there's less room here. So it's a little bit trickier. But once I remove these, I can pull this, um, I can pull this plastic off. Uh, there's not much space in here, but there's just enough room to fish the wire through from the outside down into here and find the wire. I grabbed another wire just to fish it through because of the Model Y, uh, the taillight's way up there, but the thing is down where you're fishing it through is right over here, so this cable isn't that long. I was able to get the electrical tape on there and I'm gonna pull it through. This is definitely why you want to enlarge that hole, for sure. And you might have noticed I took the wheel off because again, I said my tires are much larger, but I think on the Model Y you need to anyway just so you have enough room so you don't have to unbolt anything. I think if you undid these right here and drop this a little bit, you'd have a little bit more room, uh, but then you're getting into some major things. It's really not that hard to take the tire off, but you could do this without doing that as well. Uh, I just haven't found a better way. Maybe I'll find out on the other side. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna undo the wires, hold on to this. <laughs> These are color coded, so you can't you can't do them wrong. And before this goes in, I'm gonna double check this side. Good thing I checked because this is working, but my taillight's not working. So I gotta flip that wire. There we go. Now that's working, and this is working. Inside, back in there, it's hard to see which way you actually connect the wire, but it only works one way, as you can see. I'm gonna put electrical tape around this, feed this through, and you know, I'm gonna wipe this out a little bit. Since we made this hole bigger, I don't have to worry about staggering these joints. They'll fit right in there. They'll stay together. Fish the wire back through. And Perfect, perfect. A little better visibility on this side. This is the wire here. It runs all the way into the vent and out the outside. All right, this is super, nah, this, this side was not that easy. This is the passenger side with a, with a hole for the tow hook. I took this tow hook out and I was able to fish the wire through here better and then fish it up in here. Uh, you, what you wanna do is connect a wire to run through the inside of the car down inside, catch that, uh, catch that wire through there, and then run a fish down this way, and then pull it back this way. Uh, just be careful to not pull these apart. Now mine, mine pulled apart here, but it's really not difficult to put back together. What I'm gonna do, so I know which is which and how they go together, I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna attach the other end to where it goes, then I can line up the uh, wires and then they'll, they'll slide right in. If it doesn't slide in, it goes the other way. And those kind of lock into place. We're gonna tape these together, and actually we're gonna do this right now. I'm hooking these up. So these are hooked up. And if you're wondering, yes, it did get dark pretty quickly here. It is like almost 8.30, and the sun is set. 
it's late, but we're still working out here. Clip it in place. So this is definitely a dirty job. Well, on my car anyway, my car's probably dirtier than most. I wanna say it's doable. Uh, it's not something you don't wanna try, I don't think. Again, it is doable. It's just harder to reach in the Model in the Model Y. Just the way that vent comes out, it's hard to get in there. The Model 3 from their video, I'll have a link to their video down below. Uh, it looks a lot easier to do in the Model 3 because the tail light isn't so far away from that light. And possibly the newer ones, it's even easier. Mine's a very early edition, so maybe the Chinese ones are a little bit easier to get back in there. But hey, I got it working. You want to see it? Well, you already saw it earlier in the video, but you want to see it now in the dark? Link in the description, pick up yours today. Model 3, Model Y, they work. They're not that expensive and make your car stand out. You know, there's so many there's so many Teslas out there, Model 3s and Model Ys. You don't wanna look like everyone else's. Customize yours to make yours look like what you want it to look like. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one.